So today's paper actually reminded me of Jethro. So Jethro was a monkey I used to work with when I was doing my PhD. And he was like the biggest monkey, the alpha male of the cages. And I remember very distinctly, like all the other monkeys were scared of this guy, you know, the alpha male. And every night I would return him to the cage. He would jerk fucking like a, 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 a monster because right in front of him, there was this monkey called Chloe. And it was the only girl in the whole cages in, in all the rooms. And he would jerk off looking at Chloe. And then uh, he would uh, come and then he would eat his own cum. It was just hilarious to, to see that and this paper reminded me of that why because this paper in this paper they, they did a study where they saw monkeys having sex with uh, females right it's a 1972 paper the ethics were quite interesting at that time decades ago it's a science paper so it's uh, I don't mean like science like the the topic science no science is the name of the journal it's the top journal that any scientist can publish in it's called science um, and one thing that they were trying to figure out is how does testosterone relate to dominance, right? Jordan Peterson talks about the male dominance hierarchy. It goes all the way down to, you know, lobsters, you know, I don't know, hundreds of millions of years in our evolution. Um, and the, the, the point of the paper was, is there a causal link between testosterone and, and dominance? Because there's all these correlational studies and, and, you know, fuck those studies, they suck. You want a study to show you proof that something causes something else. And this study did that. That's why it was published in science. So one thing, okay, so how did the experiment work? There were four macaques, rhesus macaque monkeys. And what they did was they would, did it with each of these four monkeys. It was outside in the wild. They monitored each monkey for about two weeks. And what they did was they would take one monkey and put this monkey with four females, right? In, in my thumbnail text and the title, you know, I talk about monkey orgies and I'm telling you why, what's, what they're doing, you know, it's monkey pornography basically. So they would, they would watch this one, al you know, th the male that all of a sudden now becomes an alpha male because it's him with four women, right? Four women monkeys. And o over a span of two weeks, what they noticed is the, this male, ordinary male, when he was with these four, females became alpha automatically, right? And I'm going to get into what happened to his testosterone levels very soon um, because I know you're here for that. Now, one thing right away they noticed is that there was no aggression from the females, right? So the male gets put in to this habitat, four females, one male, and the females give him literally no hesitation, no, um, uh, 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 there's no reluctance to, and, and he, they just let him fuck these four women as much as he wants for two weeks so the average testosterone went from 849 nanograms per deciliter to 1515 nanograms per deciliter now in monkeys testosterone is higher than us human beings imagine uh, you know we sort of have a similar evolutionary ancestor we're sort of cousins uh, you know according to many evolutionary theories and these monkeys have higher testosterone than, than human human males um, so uh, okay now, what happened? Once this mon these monkeys were put in, because of the, the fact that they were having sex all the time with these females, there was no aggression from the females. They were just kind of having their way with these four women, this orgy. It was just unbelievable. Uh, you know, five sums and whatnot. That's what made this testosterone jump so high on average. And I'm going to get to how that tripled very soon. Okay. Uh, they were th okay, now what they did. So after the two weeks... They took each of these monkeys and they put them with 30 unknown males, right? Because they wanted to see, okay, this monkey's fucking these four females. His, his testosterone triples. But now when he goes, and, and why do I say triple? Because the testosterone, if you look at the four monkeys, it went anywhere from 100 and uh, it was 100, uh, 109% all the way up to 247% increase. So it almost increased 3x, like 2.5x. Um, and that was equal to injecting these monkeys with, with uh, gonadotropin, which is a precursor of testosterone. Anyway, so now th these monkeys have this high testosterone, it triples. Now they put each of these monkeys separately with 30 unknown males that they've never seen before. And these males started bullying the fuck out of these monkeys, man. So imagine like you have 30 males, all like some alpha, some beta, some omega, whatever. Now this new monkey comes in, they're giving him shit. 
massive, massive shit. They're being aggressive towards him. They're getting in fights with him. They're, they're just fucking mauling this guy like, like, like in high school or something, but worse because they're very aggressive. And it was so bad that this monkey had to be taken out in two hours. Each of these monkeys lasted just two hours or they would get killed by these other 30. Now, it's possible that this monkey thought because he was all badass, you know, his testosterone triples. He's like, yeah, I'm still badass, but uh-uh, that ain't, that ain't right when you get put in a habitat where it's a bunch of males that, that are going to fuck you up. Um, okay. Okay, so here's the difference. In terms of aggression, when he was with the four females, it was just 2%. Meaning like they were hesitating or like that type of like hesitating uh, uh, anti, like hey, don't come close to me aggression. It was only 2%. But when they went with these 30 males, it jumped up to 50%. It's fucking crazy, man. So yeah, removed after two hours. And check this out. The testosterone tripled when they were having sex and these orgies with females. But when they were put... So, so then, okay. So they did this for two weeks with, the, with, the, with these four monkey women. Had sex with them. Came back to baseline, right? Got put them into their own cage. So the testosterone tripled and came back to baseline. And then they put them in with these 30 males and the testosterone dropped 80% on average. And it ended up at 328 nanograms per deciliter. That's low testosterone for males. So for monkeys, that's really low. That's like ultra low. That's like you need, uh, uh, yeah, you, like you need something to, to cure yourself that low. It was hypogonadism. Okay, now this is another crazy thing. This low testosterone stayed for six to nine weeks after these monkeys left the 30 males, right? So in two hours, they were taken away, put them in, into their own cage, and that 80% drop lasted for almost nine weeks. So, you know, right now we're in a situation, you know, you might be traumatized with what's going on in the world. I don't know, you're in, at home, your mental health is fucked up. Your testosterone might be dropping if you're not working out, if you're not taking the right supplements, uh, if you're not eating the right foods, if you don't have the right amount of mental clarity so you're not stressed out. If that is happening, that could last nine, ten weeks or maybe longer You know, in, in human males. Who knows? It might last years. So be careful. Be careful. A little bit of trauma, of stress can last a long time. You know, it's maybe what we call depression in us, in males, in human males. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, and now here's something interesting. I'm going to show you this figure. It's figure one from the paper. What they did was, again, remember, we want to do causality, right? So baseline monkey fucking with five sums and orgies, you know, gang bangs, and then back to baseline, then to these 30 males, look, testosterone drops like a motherfucker because they, they got beat, beaten the fuck out of, back to their home, in the cage and and it lasts for you know nine to uh, uh 15 weeks now they put them back with the female right so they're like depressed like what the fuck and and you'll see this in figure one you'll see this baseline you'll see the jump up with females then you see the dip down with the 30 males and then it's like shit for like nine nine to twelve weeks 15 weeks and then boom up again when they went back to having their five sums and, and having sex with these four females. So the point is, of this paper, this is how I speculate. If you're really depressed and testosterone is low uh, and and like you've had trauma and gotten the, the fuck beat up, you, someone beat you up, you're just traumatized, everything's fucked up in your life, go have sex with four monkeys. No, I'm kidding. Uh, go find women to have sex with and like have orgies and five sums or whatever, just have sex. <laughs> and that, that experience will get your testosterone to spike up like crazy. It's like, it'll get you out of a slump. You know how I remember one of our professors back in at McGill when I was doing my PhD, Amir Shmuel, we all used to say like, he was such a bastard. You know, he was uh, always a bastard to the students. Everyone hated him. You know, he would like sabotage experiments just so they could continue and not graduate. He was just a big asshole dude. And we always said, man, this guy just needs to get laid. 
this guy just needs to get laid. And that's reality, man. Like, sometimes you just need to get laid. And after COVID is over, we will all get laid a lot. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's the paper for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, and oh yeah, comment below. I want to know, when was a time in your life when you were so depressed, so like on a slump, and things were just really shit for you, and then you had sex and everything became okay? Describe that in the comments below. This is Doc Farhan. I'll see you next time. Have fun, guys, and uh, stay in there. Mm -hmm.